Hi everyone, my name is Dora and I am a string instrument technician here at Brass Bell and today I'm going to be giving you an introduction into the different orchestra string instruments and what makes each of them unique. So the first instrument we're going to be talking about is the violin. The violin is both the smallest and the highest tuned instrument in the orchestra. Its tuning is E, A, D, G, which sounds like this. Because of its higher tuning, the violin often carries the melody of pieces in the orchestra, and there's also a large plethora of solo pieces written for this instrument that are really beautiful. Cello is one of the larger and lower tuned instruments in the orchestra. It has the tuning of A, D, G, C, which sounds like this. This means that cello can be really versatile since it can play very low and also very high. A lot of times it plays more the harmony in the orchestra, but it can also play a part in the melody as well. Cello also has extremely beautiful melodic solo pieces. The viola is simultaneously one of the smaller and the lower instruments in the orchestra. It's almost as if you combine a violin and a cello. It has the small size of a violin, but the tuning of a cello. Its strings are A, D, G, C, which sounds like this. The combination of small size and low string give this instrument a really unique sound and also the ability to play both a lower harmony and a driving melody in the orchestra. There are also really interesting solo pieces for the viola as well. The bass is the largest and the lowest tuned instrument in the orchestra. It has the tuning of G, D, A, E, which sounds like this. powerful driving foundation of the orchestra, but it also has really interesting solo pieces as well. The upright bass plays an important role in everything from jazz to classical to folk and bluegrass music. <laughs> 